Hi everyone, it's Mia from Rose Nails by Marissa Coombs and in this video I'm going to do these Beetlejuice inspired nails. I'm going to be using SBD London 002 which is the white colour. Um, this is Neon 4, was that? <laughs> I think it was 4. And Neon 2 which is the purpley pink and the crazy green. I've just done two coats of each colour on these nails so far. So let's have a play. I'm going to be using Nail Kami Onyx as well, which is the black gel polish from Nail Kami, and this gorgeous pure platinum sparkly black from SBD London. So I'm going to start with that pure platinum black, and I'm going to do some lines on these white nails, because obviously Beetlejuice has this like white and black stripey suit. So I wanted to recreate a bit of that. These are not like Beetlejuice themed nails per se. They're just kind of inspired by the movie and the colours and things like that. We have started a new tradition in my family of watching ridiculously cool old movies with my kids on a Saturday night. So I have recently ordered loads of sort of Halloween themed ones like Beetlejuice and Drop Dead Fred and things like that. So I'm really looking forward to starting this tradition off and I thought it would give me some inspiration for these nails. So it's amazing where you can find inspiration from. <laughs> movie night! Love a good movie night. Absolutely love it. To be fair though, I'm a fatty, so it's probably more the snacks that I'm also looking forward to. <laughs> Any excuse to eat chocolate. So I'm just using my Nao Nails 0003 striping brush, which if you've watched some of my other videos as well, you are going to know it's one of my favourite brushes to do artwork with. I have not got the most fluid of wrists is that the right word um so i find personally for me when i'm working if you're struggling with any kind of line work or even just normal artwork and like my, my wrist is so wooden that i can't sort of flick a shorter brush in the right direction so if you are struggling with it then try using a slightly longer brush because i do find that it kind of does some of the kind of flicking and the fluidity for you. Apart from when you go and mess up the nail like that. Look, I've got a big chunk of black where I did not want a big chunk of black. Honestly, look at that. Oh, I did get that bit of black off before I put it to cure. These nails, uh, these gel polishes, sorry, from SBD London cure in 60 seconds in an LED lamp. And the... Onyx gel polish from Nail Kami cures in 30 seconds in an LED lamp, but because it's a black, I would always put it in for 60 seconds anyway, just because blacks are notoriously bad for curing. Right, so on this nail, I I don't actually show this on camera, I don't think. I decided to do like a pumpkin face, and I was going to leave it as just like a white nail with a green pumpkin face outline, and then just before I put it in the lamp, I thought, actually, no, I want it to be all green. So I do just paint all around the outside of the outlines before it goes in the lamp. I am so freaking good at being out of shot. <laughs> I will move my camera for next time because it's very annoying. And my camera didn't want to focus today at all. So yeah, I've just done this really simple Halloweeny face, but woo! <laughs> But then it turns green. So I've just used the SBD London Neon Polish uh, to turn that green. So for this green nail, I'm just going to use some of the Neon Gel Polish, whichever blimmin' number it was. Neon 2, 4, something like that. And I'm using my dotting tool to create some quite big blobs of gel polish. And I want there to be too much gel polish on the blobs because then I'm going to use that gel polish to line up with. So I'm just doing a stripe up and then I'm kind of bringing it in at the centres. So there we go, hang on, look, stripe up. Then bring it in at the edges so that it's not like a big horrible harsh line. And then you've got a really good blood drip. And I'm just going to do a little sort of cuff where the blood is coming from as well. And then again I'm going to sort of soften off the edges here towards the drip from the cuff so that it looks like it's all sort of dripping down and all creepy and Halloween-y. I love Halloween nails. I love Halloween nails and I love Christmas nails. 
So this is like my favourite time of year to be a nail tech. <laughs> See, I'm just using that gel polish. I'm not adding any extra gel polish at all. I'm just using the gel polish that is there to create these this sort of drippy effect from the sides and bringing them round into a curve. And then I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds when I am done. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And on this nail, I think it's this one. Yep, yeah, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but I'm going to do it in reverse. So I'm just reversing the colours on these because they look really, really good when they're together. And I'm also just sort of switching up the position of the blood or gloop or slime or whatever it is, the drops that are coming down. So I'm going to do exactly the same process, just with a different colour. So again, I've put a bit too much gel polish on my blobs. And then I'm going to use it to bring that colour up towards the cuff. Once I stop faffing around with the cuff. Yeah, it's done. It's done, Maria. Like, there you go, it's done. <laughs> so again, I'm going to do like a straight line up in a row. Do -do -do -do. There we go. And then use the gel polish that's there to soften the edges where that line and the drop meet. Why has my camera gone so fuzzy? That's not my eyes, is it? You know, it's the camera. <laughs> thought Jesus my glasses need replacing <laughs> so again just softening those lines up towards them so they look like really good gloopy slime drops gotta have a bit of slime at Halloween haven't ya loves a bit of slime look at that slimy I could not figure out which one was my favorite the green on the purple or the purple on the green but I think it's the green on the purple just just about wins it for me so that's gonna pop in the lamp for 60 seconds any minute now when I stop faffing oh yeah I noticed it wasn't sort of brought down enough at the cuff so on this one this one was a bit of a ball ache because as I said I've not got the most fluid of wrists and I thought I would do a spiral and obviously spirals require quite a lot of fluidity and a lot of fluid movement and I was like do you know what just just spin the nail <laughs> spin the nail around in a circle <laughs> let the nail do the work for you obviously you can't do that on a client but don't be afraid if you're doing this on an actual client do not be afraid to ask them to move their hand to so that they're completely facing you so rather than them sort of giving their hands to you, turn those hands round in the opposite direction. I hope that makes sense. And then you can paint it from that way. It's particularly helpful if you're doing like a design and you're right handed, for example, like I am, then if you've got a paint to the left, then just ask your client to turn their hand round and it really is a hell of a lot easier. And at the end of the day, if they're they shouldn't be funny about it or anything like that because they're going to have nicer nails for it at the end of the day. So just don't be afraid of getting your client to turn their hand around. Oh, I'm just using the uh, SBD London triple z yeah, blah, 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 double zero two polish for this, which is their individual colour of white. because I didn't want to use artisan gel paints or anything like that that I normally use because I just thought that the gel paint would flow a bit easier when I'm doing a spiral so once you get to this point of the spiral where it's not like connected in a spiral anymore because it's come off the edges of the nail it's a hell of a lot easier because it's basically just lines lines, lines, and just keep them all an equal distance apart and then it will give the illusion that it is spiralling down the nail. Or spiralling out of control. <laughs> One of the two. So then you can just... So see, for this bit, I would ask my client to turn their hand around so that their whole hand is facing me the other way to how you would normally do nails. Because then I can do these bits that are just easier to sort of bring them round to the right because I'm right-handed. So my hand naturally wants to bring things around to the right. I can't move things around to the left it's just a lot harder so I would have my client facing their nails this way round for this bit of the artwork and then pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds 
Right now on this one I'm going to be using all the same gel polish colours again and I'm going to be using my dotting tool to put two dots of the colour and then two dots of white and then swirl it all together with a very thin dotting tool that I've got. I think I do show you it in a minute. Do -do -do -do. This is my super pointy dotting tool and I just swirl the whole thing together and they look like little roses. Okay, they don't when they're like individual like that. It looks like a blob. But when, <laughs> but when they're all together, <laughs> it looks like little roses. <laughs> it does, I promise. So that is like the easiest way of making a flower if you are rubbish at doing flowers. If you're better at flowers than I am, then by all means do it in a different way. <laughs> but these are particularly good for, especially if you're doing small flowers. These are a bit big to do um, this method really but it did look quite nice when it was done oh, excuse my phone going off um but for doing little flowers this is like the best and easiest way of doing flowers ever it's just dot 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 in the other color and swirl it all together and then i'm going to pop that into the lamp for 60 seconds when i'm done see look i over mixed it there so i had to add a bit more of the green in try not to over mix it because you want those two colors kind of um separate you don't want to mix them all together right on mr pumpkin face over here i decided to put some black kind of blobs of slime black slime you get black slime you must be able to get black slime using exactly the same method as i have used on the previous nails and then this is with the uh oh god is it pure platinum or precious platinum I think it's Precious Platinum, actually. I think I lied to you at the beginning. I think this is a Precious Platinum one from SBD London. Their Platinum ranges, they've got two. There's the Pure Platinum and the Precious Platinum collection. And they are both friggin' amazing. You desperately need them in your life. And I'm just going to use it to outline all of this little pumpkin's face as well. Because I thought his face just needed a bit more definition. So by the time he was done, he actually looked a bit more like a Frankenstein pumpkin than a pumpkin, but that's all good. So that's all done. And I've just added some leaves onto the sort of Beetlejuice stripy nail as well by those flowers. And I'm just going to use my tempering top coat on these bad boys and they're all done. So please hit that subscribe button for more gel polish tutorials and I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!